Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video. And if at any point in time in this video you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit on that like button. As well as don't forget to hit on that subscribe and hit on that bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. So today's video, I'm gonna to try to tackle two different topics that's happening on the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. The very first one is dealing with the unresponsive keyboard that is happening either on your lock screen or it could be happening inside of your phone. If you have any type of issue where it's crashing, it's not working, it's just not being proper, or maybe you are completely locked out of your phone, you're able to touch everywhere, but not this keyboard area. Now, some people are thinking it's because they have a dead zone or an unresponsive area of the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. It's actually technically because of an issue with a keyboard which I was able to mimic with this phone and this will be the fix for you now the second topic is dealing with the dead zones or the areas of the phone that is not responsive that I've been reading online I have yet to see this in person but maybe possibly you might be actually in this area here which is the first topic where your keyboard just doesn't pop up but you think it's a dead zone but also I will talk about the second topic here on exactly how you're able to test it and also who you're able to contact to make sure you get this thing fixed now covering the very first topic, you do want to use this piece right here. This is the OTG adapter that comes inside of the box of the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. All this is right here is the plug on the very bottom is going to be your USB Type-C that goes inside your phone. And this one is USB. The great thing with this one is you're able to do Samsung Smart Switch if you're transferring from an older device via the regular cable. You can also plug in a flash drive, a mouse, and as well as a keyboard. So actually this right here is going to be my keyboard. I'm just going to plug this right in because what's happening with this very first issue is that I'm not able to use my physical keyboard that is right here. So I'm going to use the keyboard that's just sitting right offside the camera. So I'm going to type in the password. Now, once you are unlocked, you're able to unplug this now, once the device is unlocked, you wanna pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon. You're gonna go down to where it says apps. Now, underneath apps on the very top right-hand side, you do wanna click on those three little dots and you wanna go to show system apps because what you're gonna find is where it says Samsung keyboard. Now, once you find your Samsung keyboard, you can go inside of here and underneath the storage, you can clear the data and clear the cache if you want to. It's kind of a way just to kind of, you know, make it go right back over into where it was by default. But the main thing that you do want to turn on is this one right here where it says apps that can appear on top. So as of right now, this keyboard application, the regular keyboard of Samsung, is not able to appear on top of any other screen. Meaning if you're inside of maybe a text message, if you're inside of Facebook Messenger, if you're on your lock screen, this is not able to go on top of the screen screen to pop up that keyboard. Now, this is just a really fast and easy fix. Um, I'm super glad that I ran into this person who had this problem. And so then this way I'd be able to make this video for you guys. And here you go. This is where you can go right inside of there. And you can just say whatever your password is, which this one is just one that I made up. Um, and then now you're able to use your keyboard at its finest. So I hope for anybody watching this video, if you thought that you're a person that had a unresponsive part of your screen or your keyboard just have kept having issues, please write a comment below the video if this step right here has helped you out fixing any of those issues. Now heading over to topic number two, this is one that I've not seen in person. I really wish I could have a phone of somebody who has this issue so I can also diagnose it and see it for myself. But outside of that, if you're somebody who has either dead zones or spots that just don't work in your phone, here's one of the steps you'd be able to do. Head over into your phone dialer. You're going to do star pound zero star pound. This takes you over into the Samsung diagnostic test. And then this is where you go inside of there for touch. Now, a lot of people are stating like maybe they have issues down on the very bottom of the phone. So that's kind of how you'd be able to kind of swipe there. You can see if there's any issues over here. You can pull it down from the very top up here as well. And this is just if you think that you possibly have any type of dead zones. Now, the only way to get out of this little diagnostic test of the touch inside of this dialing pad um, number here, what you want to do is just fill in all of these squares. So go right along the outside as well as fill in the little X inside the middle. And then you're able to get out of this test. Now, the other thing you definitely want to go over and play with is that if you do have a screen protector and you're thinking that you possibly have some dead spots as well. And also, too, I've read online for anybody who has any issues with screen responsiveness or dead zones, this is something you can turn on and hopefully it'll help you out maybe just a little bit better. Use your phone. So you head over again into your settings. You're going to go down to your advanced features, scroll all the way down and turn up that touch sensitivity. Technically, this one right here is for if you have a screen protector that is just a little bit more thick than the average screen protector and it's taking away some of the touch sensitivity so make sure you turn this one on 
Also try that diagnostic test from Samsung that you just saw here, the star pound, zero star pound. Go through all the different areas. If you do find an area that is unresponsive, that is the point that number one, you are able to take your phone back to the store and get it replaced. But before you do that, make sure you call 1-800-SAMSUNG and report to them, possibly your IMEI and MEID, so they can maybe link you with a bad batch of phones. So they know it's maybe about 50 that has happened to, and then they'd be able to reach out to those folks and tell them to get this thing replaced. Because it sounds as if online Samsung is stating it's pretty small and it's not really widespread. And as always, if that second portion right there was something that helped you guys out, make sure you guys write a comment below the video. Let me know that topic number two, you were able to figure something out. Maybe you're talking to Samsung. Maybe you're going back to the store. Just let me know if you have any possible issues. I really am trying to use this channel to reach out to you guys, help you guys, and hopefully give you guys a solution and a fix. Outside of that, if you guys at least appreciate this video, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also hit on subscribe below the video. You can also hit subscribe right over here and then make sure you share this video with your friends and family. So if anybody has issues with their Samsung phone, they know exactly how to diagnose and hopefully possibly fix it or at least know who to talk to. Outside of that, I'll see you guys later.